Hi, this is Chris from HT Software. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use the data control panels as a user interface for your Arduino projects. We will see how to implement virtual switches, virtual buttons, set points, indicators, and matrix. Open the data control panels. These panels display the values of digital data and analog data which were created by our Arduino library to allow interaction between your Arduino program and heat panel. The main idea is that you can set the value of the data from your Arduino program and read this value from heat panel. In that case, the data will be used either as an indicator or as a matrix in heat panel. And inversely, you can set the value of the data from heat panel and read this value from your Arduino program. In that case, the data will be used either as a virtual switch, a virtual button, or a set point in heat panel. There are 32 available digital data and 20 available analog data. Each digital data holds a Boolean value and each analog data holds a float value. Now, we would like to edit the user interface, but remember we locked it in the previous tutorial. So, first go to settings and unlock the user interface. Next, let's only show the data that are actually used by our Arduino sketch. That is digital data 0, 1 and 2 and analog data 0, 1 and 2. And let's give them names which reflect how we will use them. Threshold reach for digital data 0, servo position 1 or position 2 for digital data 1, increment counter for digital data 2, photo register in person for analog data 0, threshold in person for analog data 1, counter for analog data 2. In our Arduino sketch, analog data 0 is used as a matrix to display the photo register value in percent. If we look at the code at the beginning of the loop function, we see that analog input 0 is read and its value is then converted in person by remapping it from the range 0 1023 to the range 0 100. Then this value is returned to analog data 0 so that it can be displayed in the panel. Next, in our Arduino sketch, digital data 0 is used as an indicator which turns on if the photoresistor value exceeds the threshold value defined on analog data 1. Moreover, analog data 1 is used in our Arduino sketch as a set point so that the threshold value can be adjusted from the panel. To make it possible to enter the value from heat panel, right click on the value display and select set a set point. It is then possible to set a new value either by directly typing it or by using the slider or by using the spinner. By default the spinner will increase or decrease the set point value by step of 1. To change the step, right click on the spinner and select configure spinner. Then enter a new value, for instance 10, and check that it worked. Similarly, you can configure the slider by right-clicking on it and by selecting configure slider. Let's change the min and max values to 20 and 80. What's more, you can configure the color of the indicator, right-click on it, select set as indicator, you then have the choice between three colors depending on the purpose of the indicator. Green to indicate a status, orange for warning, and red for an alarm. Let's select warning. The related code is pretty simple. The official value set from the panel is read on analog data 1 here, and at the same time it is constrained between the values 0 and 100. It means that you will not be able to enter a value outside this range from the panel. Then, we check if the photoresistor value exceeds the official value and we put the result in digital data 0. Next, digital data 1 is used in our sketch as a virtual switch to toggle the servo between two positions. To display digital data 1 as a virtual switch, right click on it and select set as switch. If you click several times on the switch, you will see the servo alternate between two positions. 
The related Arduino code is pretty straightforward. We read the Boolean value set from each panel on digital data 1, and depending on this value, we move the servo either to position 169.3 degrees or to position 12.8 degrees. Next, Digital Data 2 is used in our sketch as a virtual button. A virtual button can be used to trigger complex events such as a robot motion sequence. We use it here simply to increment a counter in our Arduino program and we display the value of this counter on Analog Data 2. To display Digital Data 2 as a virtual button, right click on it and select Set as Button. If you click several times on the button, you will see the counter incrementing at each click. If we look at the code, we see that each time there is a click on the button of Digital Data 2, the variable click counter is incremented. Moreover, the value of this variable is returned to Analog Data 2 so that it can be monitored in HITI panel. As we have finished editing our user interface, let's lock it again. Go to Settings and lock the interface. This concludes this tutorial about how to use the Arduino data control panels.